So, today I'm going to be talking about the ellipse and how to construct it using the pin and string method. Now let's talk about a few of the key features of an ellipse. The first of which is our major auxiliary, which is the widest length that our ellipse can be. And this is found along our major axis. Now our second feature is our minor auxiliary, and this is the smallest length that our ellipse can be. And this is found along our minor axis. The next features that we're going to be talking about is our focal points, focal point one and focal point two. Now the way in which we find these focal points is that we take the length of half of our major auxiliary, we put it on a compass and we swing from the top of our minor auxiliary and bring it down as such that the length from here to here is equal to the length of half of our minor, major auxiliary. Now, this blue string goes through our focal points one and focal points two, and it is equal to the length of our major auxiliary. Now, the way in which we draw our ellipse using the pin and string method is that we take our pencil or whatever and we spin it around from our major auxiliary all the way around to our minor and bring this the entire way around. Now, as you can see, this has given us a very ovular shape, which is very much a flattened circle, which is where the word ellipse come from. It means to fall short. Now, as you can see, we have constructed our ellipse. Now, some key considerations when drawing using the pin and string method. Ensure that the focal points are marked correctly. Ensure that the string that we use is equal to the length of our major auxiliary and ensure that this is not an elastic material. As if it's elastic, it's gonna start distorting the image of our lips.